living that good life. We're living, 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 living with Jimmy B. We're living it up, up, up. We're living that good life. We're living, 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 living it with Jimmy B. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post another video. Hello, and welcome to this episode of Living with Jimmy B. I'm excited to do yet another banger. I have a recipe that I got from a fellow YouTuber by the name of, what's her name? Stovetop Kisses. And it's um, breaded chicken breast, and they're stuffed with seven different cheeses and spinach. I'm really excited. I forgot my gravy, I gotta grab my gravy. And this is not going to be a long video, um, but I have my gravy. I just wanna put some gravy on top of my potatoes. And she put gravy on top of her chicken. So I'm thinking I'll do the same thing as I am doing her. This is her recipe that I'm doing. So this is how she rolled. This is how she rocked it. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's hurry up and do a thumbnail. So. Okay, so we get that out of the way. And there is, as usual, a lot to talk about. And this, whoo, that's a banger. That's why I'm using a steak knife. So there's a lot going on in the news uh, with um, people talking about Debo from Friday passing away. So it, it my heart goes out to his family and I don't think they mentioned what the cause of death is yet. I have ginger ale. But he was uh, 62 years old and it was found unresponsive in his apartment. His, his, uh, Name, they, he also goes by Tiny Lister Jr. I'm not sure if that's his uh, birth name or not, but Debo Tiny Lister Jr. And it was really, I think, really cool. And what I respected so much about him is that his last uh, video that they have of him talking, he was encouraging young people to get their education and quoting scripture. This is D. Bo from the hit movie Friday and Next Friday. Stay tuned, we might be doing something in 2021. Hey man, big shout out to y'all. Keep your grades up, keep your focus on Jesus Christ. Romans 8, 28, all things work together for love of the Lord. All right, so I'm out. Debo, for real. <clears throat> and I thought that was awesome. I mean, to use your platform <clears throat> to promote positivity like that, that's what's up. And that, that comes with maturity. And I'm not, you know, putting down anybody that's um, famous who, you know, may not 
have the same persona as he does image wise. But, you know, a lot of uh, young people are met with a lot of success at a young age. And they grow up and make mistakes in front of the world. Um, they have a lot of influence. Mm. And it's, it's a little sad that, you know, people don't take into account that they're young, they're learning about life, they're making mistakes. And unfortunately, some of the mistakes that they make and that perhaps later on they'll go back and look at it and say, wow, I shouldn't have done that or I shouldn't have said that. Or Other young people are watching and are likely to follow. So it's good to see a celebrity encourage young people to get their education, uh, go back to school, study hard, <clears throat> and quote scriptures. I think he voted, uh, uh, quoted Romans chapter 18, I think, it, I believe it is. Mm. This is really good. I hope you guys can see this because it's just delicious. Mm. I'm not sure how these camera angles are. So, apparently, Wendy Williams announced today that she was taking a hiatus from her TV show, which there were some things going on about that whole situation. Once she came back from her hiatus, you know, because of the beer virus, a lot of people were saying that she wasn't the same they were saying the show, you know, wasn't the same that she was acting strange. Every day is not perfect, but I'm not a perfectionist. I'm, I'm not perfect. To me, he's got a lot of mansions. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy giggled, paused awkwardly, and lost focus. Listen to me, you fans. <laughs> Uh-huh. Hodel, oh, uh, excuse me, Adele. After that, the 56-year-old's former DJ raised more concern on Instagram, writing, this is going to play out bad. You're a tough crowd. Okay, I'm Wendy, Wendy, like Wendy, 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 one, one more thing here. Kev, Kevin, if you, don't, if you don't mind me asking here. That's not Kevin. It's not, it's no, not. she looked at me. Right. Friend. Oh, he's a friend. Please don't ask about Kevin. I won't ask We have an 18-year-old son, yeah. and um, I'm sensitive to that, but that is not that's Kevin. Here. That's um. What's your name, sir? No, don't do it. I won't, I won't, I won't ask. Don't do it. Right. Young, young Kevin and I are fine. You know, big Godspeed, and, um, and you know, stuff happens in life. Yeah. Stuff happens, and, and it's okay. I've, I've still got a very full life that I really endured. Please don't make me cry. Okay, I won't. Oh, right there, oh my God! I didn't plan on this, but it is what it is. I, I have got to go eat my food with potato salad and everything, and I got to get on the plane in the morning. But I have a very full life. Thank you for watching. I would ask you to respect our privacy, but please, I don't respect people's privacy. That's why I do the hot topics. So yeah. turnabout is a fair game, but um, all three of us. 
are doing fine. Are we gonna, are we gonna see the three of you guys? Yeah, I mean, sure. together. Is that even maybe not as a married? Yes, couple again, yes, but as of family course again. you will. Kevin's got to graduate from college. He's going into his sophomore year. He's going to get married or whatever. He's going to celebrate. Yes, everybody's got to grow and up. And is he gonna be back with his father again? Yes. Okay. They're not. They're not apart. I mean, you know, stuff happens in life. Yeah. Hey, Look, I'm hungry, right, Just, and hey, I'm hungry, crying, and I got, I got to go. I got to go. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look back at some of the clips. But apparently, during that time that she was accused of acting peculiar, Unbeknownst to the public, her mother had passed away. So, a family friend of her mother's uh, revealed that she had passed away. And so, that's how the public got a hold to that information. But... By the time people found out about it, it had been weeks since her mother had passed. My mom passed away many, 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 many weeks ago. You know how during Corona, during the world topsy-turvy, people starving, people out of jobs, um, just everybody's life is something new? Well, and you know how you lose track of the day and date and the times? All I know was that it was a long time ago. My mom and I, our relationship became closer and closer once I went away to college, you know, could escape, you know, Jersey. And it became closer and closer and closer to the point where, um, first of all, she passed away beautiful and peacefully and surrounded by love. But I'm just looking at a time frame of when they said she was acting peculiar. So it must have been during that time when she lost her mother. That's that's the kind of time frame I'm thinking that lines up when people didn't know that her mother had passed. And apparently, she and her mother were really close. So my heart goes out to anyone who has lost a loved one and um, it's nothing like losing a mother. It's just different and you know, your relationships with your father and your family members, it's all unique relationships. So it feels different when you lose your mother. I don't know how to describe it, but um, I lost my mom in 1999. And I hadn't lost anybody close to me prior to that. So it was pretty tough. But what I found really interesting about the situation is with Wendy is nobody knew about it. And it just made me think to myself, wow, like she's not newsworthy unless she's talking about other people. It became apparent to me that she makes herself relevant by talking about people who people want to hear about. And obviously they didn't want to hear about her. 
I'm not some of these soft guys you didn't had on here that you think you can talk anything to. I, I come from dead. the hardest streets of America. And if you think you're going to send me back to the streets fueling these nonsensical rumors that come I'm in the tabloid, why don't you talk about the listening. other tabloid article where I'm supposed to have beaten up the Reverend, uh, me and Reverend Jackson jumped on a preacher in L.A. You didn't see that? No. You're just too fixated on drugs and sex to discuss oh, that. <laughs> Is that your problem? I you got a real one. fixation with drugs and sex. And that's all you talk about, from what I understand us, on your show. And now we know that why you had all those eight abortions. Okay. Right now. My Where God, do you have any spirituality in you at all? Tell, tell you need to about, go to church. What church do you go tell to? Because you need God in your life. Tell, tell us about about you need. Beat down, and Josh. I'm not mad. Anyone that knows my show know that I don't take any disrespect or I don't let anybody say here. anything they want to me without me checking the real strong and real tough. Come and down. that's what you get in the day, Wendy. You're getting a real good checking. All right, which is what you need. And quite frankly, it's overdue. You get folks on your show, and you just think you can talk and say anything you want to. Well, that's what I do on my show. And my show has higher ratings than yours. So I'm trumping you today. Very interesting part of trumping you today. No, you're not trumping me, Judge. That you're going to have to listen. You're actually not trumping anything. Or else it would have leaked. She said, my mom died weeks ago. I was like, wow. I mean, you see so much hoopla around her and a lot of times you don't, at least I didn't take into account that the hoopla is not her, it's the people that she keeps their name in her mouth. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord, have I waited for this day? Have you? Well, yes, I have. Haven't you? Whitney. Yes, dear. Absolutely. I know it. I don't believe that I've ever met you in my entire career. Ain't that something you talk about me all the time? And you are top billing. Is that why you talk about me all the time? Absolutely. You, even me. you don't even know me. And in my personal life, I was noticing that some people was doing that to me. And I was like, thinking to myself, why is this person always talking about me? Like, you know, and I realized that they were trying to make themselves relevant because otherwise nobody wanted to even know about them or hear about them. So by talking about me, they got people's attention. And then I had a, a family member who got in a whole bunch of trouble and to try to diffract, and this was last year, got in a whole bunch of trouble in and, an and, and attempt to diffract from all that was going on with that with them. They started all these rumors about me. And I'm like, wow, like that's some Jedi, you know, hand trick stuff. Because like, you know that you going through all this stuff and so you're trying to change the subject and talk and make up stuff about me so that people will not talk about the stuff that's really going on with you. Crazy. So you get older and you start noticing like little things like, wow, like the stuff that people will do to get in your head and, you know, it's just crazy, you know, and um, I don't fall for it. I don't really like people around me that gossip, you know, I don't like all that negativity in my life, you know, I'm starting to get full, if you can't already tell. Um, but as I've said in some of my other videos, if people are always talking about other people in a negative way to you, then nine times out of 10, they're talking about you too. And if they're not, eventually they will. 
it's like a disease. They can't help it. Live your best life. And sometimes when you trying to come up, you can't take everybody with you. Not everybody's going to be happy for you. And so sometimes you have to reassess the people in your surroundings because sometimes they will be jealous of you. And it's sad, but it's true. A lot of people struggle with jealousy. They struggle with it like a disease. And that's facts. And they will try to get in your head and they will try to put you down and make you feel bad about yourself when in actuality they're jealous of you. And if you're not strong minded and you don't have that discernment that God can give you to understand what it is they're trying to do, they'll succeed. They'll have you second guessing yourself. They'll have people. If you let them in your circle, they will have people in your circle uh, second guessing you. They will be putting information in people's heads about you. And you might be strong minded. You might understand what they're doing, but you, you can't count on everybody else to be, you know, that discerning. So, you know, like the best thing, I don't care if they're family or not, is to not let people like that around you. Like that go saying uh, goes, uh, feed them with a long handle spoon. If you got to deal with certain family member members, feed them with a, a long handle spoon. They don't have to know why you only talk to them for a short period and then you got to go. Or you only rock with them on special occasions like holidays and family gatherings, but you ain't trying to go over their house once a week. How you rock with people is a need to know basis with them. They don't need to know you ain't messing with them like that. I mean, it's just real talk. The only way you can keep people's name out of your mouth is to is to keep them from around you, really. Out of sight, out of mind. If they're not seeing you, the likelihood of them talking about you is less. And most certainly, if they're not around you, they don't have no information, whether it's true or whether it's a lie to report to nobody because they haven't seen you. They haven't been around you. I don't play that no more. I'm 49 years old. And I'm not up for these games that people play. In your face like a man and tell you how I feel. Okay. You understand me? Straight up like a man. So no what's the shit, issue? No Ain't no issue. If it was an issue, you, you'll feel me. I just come to let y'all know, stop, put some respect on my name. You understand me? When y'all saying did, my name, put some respect on it. Did, you know, it's, it's a game. It's a game. And you let people into your inner circle, whether it be your family or, you know, because sometimes you have to be around them by association or whatever. And you let people around you and they start dogging your name out. And it's like, some people fall for that. Like, how could you have a problem with me and who I am when it doesn't have anything to do with your functioning and your existing existence on this planet? Like you're rolling your eyes at me behind the gossip and the jealousy, what you mad at me for? What did I do to you? You know what I'm saying? Like people are really gullible and I don't know if they're really entirely gullible, but, but, and it's not that they want an excuse to have a problem with you cause they jealous too. Like, I don't got time for that. I really don't. Mm -mm. You don't like me, fine with me. 
So what that saying, the saying goes, what I eat don't make you poop. And I know that's not the right thing to say behind the dinner table, but that's real talk. So why are you acting like you got a problem with who I am? Where I go, what I wear, who I talk to, who are you? You ain't my mama and my daddy. And last I checked, I was well and full grown. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. But some people build an empire off of talking about people like Wendy Williams. Built a whole empire off of dogging people name out. What is she worth, like 60 million? But the empire dog and people name out. You're a non factor. Well, y'all, I am officially full. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post another video. Peace and God bless.